Welcome to our ATEC channel. Today we're going to present a video that gives hope to all electric car users. You may have guessed it, we're talking about batteries. It's a real headache for manufacturers, but also for drivers. In this video, we'll reveal an intervention that could solve many problems. We count among others the autonomy and the cost of the car. This is a global race with huge economic consequences for a car manufacturer, but small battery startups and car buyers are now included in this race. All will choose from a dizzying array of electric cars, but the difference is that they use different types of batteries for the era of combustion engine resides. Battery chemistry is normally a technical subject that used to be a domain for engineers, but for a while now it has become one of the hot topics of the discussion, especially in the boardrooms of General Motors, Toyota, Ford Motor, and Volkswagen among others. And with the financial and technical support of some firms, but also some governments, these giant companies are embracing the arrival of startups that are working to remake new batteries. This is not to be left behind by the industrial revolution triggered by the electric car. And manufacturers want to produce a new range of batteries, one that uses solid and semi-solid electrolyte. But how is this possible and how do we get there? Let's see it together. Electric cars are going to be considered the solution to greenhouse gas emissions. They do not use combustion engines and work entirely with electric batteries. In this regard, there are two in particular. The first, the accessory battery, is used to proper function of equipment. And the second, the traction battery that allows the car to move. From this point of view, this vehicle is imperfectly in line with the current ecological transportation policy. But if this is really the case, why is there so much noise about the innovation? In fact, electric cars are still too expensive today. Just by taking a quick look at Tesla, you get an idea. It is only accessible to a few people. The battery is still being blamed by the manufacturers. According to them, this is the main reason for a high price. But that's not all. The autonomy is also an obstacle for people who want to buy this type of vehicle. This is a subject that often raises several questions. What if they can't get the next charging station? How long should I wait to fully charge my car? All of these questions have pushed manufacturers to find innovations to improve the efficiency of electric cars. But before we dive into them, let's discover together how the battery works on this type of vehicle. This will also give us a better understanding of the problems associated with it and changes that need to be made. Electric cars generally need a lithium ion battery to operate. This is already a great technological advance in these energy storage. Compared to the lead-acid battery, it has a longer lifespan and has 100% energy storage capacity. Its efficiency has been tested on many products. They are found in other electric devices like tablets and smartphones, but why do manufacturers consider it as a main element that increases the price of an electric car? In fact, the answer lies in the manufacturer. The lithium-ion battery is made from very rare materials. These are very expensive on the market. Even lesser known brands of electric cars have the same problem. Lithium is in fact a rare metal. It is difficult to access and it is only available on certain price. However, this metal plays a very big role in the property of the battery. It is the metal that allows this discharge and recharge of the car. This is made possible by the movement of lithium ions, Li+, between the cathode and the anode. To help you understand better, here's a small example. When you change your battery, Li plus ions will leave the cathode and reach the anode. The latter is a negative electrode that will store them, and then you use the battery. These ions will make the opposite movement to join the cathode. The movement of these ions occurs in the liquid electrolyte. In theory, to speed up the recharging time of the lithium ion battery, all you have to do is charge it at a high voltage. But, two problems arise. The first is the voltage of charging stations at homes are limited. This is why it takes a long time to charge an electric car in these situations. The second is the properties of the electrolyte usage. In fact, when the electrolyte is a subject to very high temperatures exceeding 100 degrees Celsius, the battery tends to ignite. It also releases toxic products. These cases are already observed in tablets and smartphones that operate with a battery of the same type. To solve all these problems, manufacturers have then thought of a new generation of batteries. As we have just mentioned, these are forms of lithium-ion batteries that semi-solid or solid electrolytes. This is a great revolution in the field of electric vehicles. The objective of these batteries is to eliminate all the risks associated with the one's use of liquid electrolyte. In fact, with solid electrolyte, the batteries will be less sensitive to heat. The risk of flashover and emission to toxic products is thus almost non-existent. This offers new perspectives on electric cars. The first concerns their charge time, which can be reduced to just several minutes. 
In fact, by withstanding high heat, these batteries are not likely to catch fire even with a powerful charge. But the greatest invention brought by the solid electrolyte is in the capacity to store energy. It is possible to have a great autonomy even with small batteries, but all of this is still in the laboratory. It is still difficult to produce solid electrolyte that can be stable. Moreover, setting up such a production line can be expensive. The most concrete solution today is to use a semi-solid lithium ion battery. The aim is to gradually reduce the liquid into the battery. By choosing the semi-solid form, it is possible to benefit from the advantages offered by the solid batteries while reducing half the risk of the flashovers encountered by liquid ones. The researchers believe that producing a semi-solid battery is already a big step towards better autonomy, but especially towards a faster recharge time. Many manufacturers are already investing into this major project without losing sight of the main objective, this one being the production of a 100% solid state battery. Of course, there are already some solid state batteries on the market, but this is still a domain of small electric devices. The time of electric vehicles seems close. The Israel company Stordot has just filled a part of this extremely fast charging technology. Stordot claims to be able to fully charge a 4680 battery cell in just 10 minutes. This is the same type of cell that Tesla uses. The way Stordot's technology communicates with the vehicle XFC battery is unique. An external charging system means that the cell can be charged more quickly, but it also means that they can be charged safely at higher currencies without overheating. To reinsure customers the in electric car manufacturers, Stordot CEO made a recent statement. He says it is very important that they can offer electric vehicle manufacturers the choice to use XFC technology. In doing so, he hopes to overcome the current batteries to electric vehicle ownership. He again highlighted range and recharging anxiety as problems to work around. It's up to us to see how this plays out over the next few years. Our video is already coming to an end. We hope it has enriched you with answers to all your concerns. Don't forget to leave a little comment if you have any questions, and above all, subscribe and activate that notification for more exciting videos. A little like from you also makes us very happy. See you soon on ATEC.